Adding coupon deals to your radio station website can bring a lot of traffic. Well, today we talked to a company that's doing it a little bit different, and it could make you even more money. This is Better Radio Websites, the podcast for radio professionals who want to see their website generate more traffic and revenue. Each week, your host, Jim Sherwood, and his special guests give you time-tested tips and secret tricks to ensure your radio station dominates digital in your market. Here we go. Hi, it's Jim, and welcome to Better Radio Websites, the podcast that wants to help you get more visitors and the most revenue from your radio station website. We're uh, back here at the uh, Broadcasters Convention in Montgomery, Alabama, talking with some great uh, vendors out here, and we're actually talking to these folks because we want to better your website and we want to be sure that you're making more money with your website and this company called get in the loop uh matt crowell the ceo is here and man you guys have some awesome stuff to give the give my listeners what get in the loop is all about yeah i mean uh, thanks for having me here today uh, yeah. so get in the loop it's a shop local platform so we really put the local business community in the palm of a, of a consumer's phone and so uh, businesses use us to attract and retain new customers so they're doing things like exclusive offers loyalty rewards it's all digital it's all mobile uh, and then we're connected into our radio station partners website so so now a partner's website has tons of great local content on it from hundreds of local businesses which uh, drives more traffic and and is obviously a new revenue stream for them all right, so so give me an example of a or if a radio station had your content what give me some examples yeah and so a radio station would take our product to market so we become a channel partner of theirs and so they go out to their advertisers and in many cases new businesses mm-hmm. uh, that maybe don't advertise on the radio and they, they sign them up to get in the loop and then those businesses do two for one wings or half price yoga or buy six coffees get the seventh free and then all that is streamed live to the radio station's website so the station is earning recurring revenue on it uh-huh. but more importantly for the content they have hundreds of local offers on their website and, and more reason to drive listeners and others back to their website see that's awesome that's amazing now so how did how did you get started doing this yeah I mean uh, I started it about 10 years ago uh, initially realized that golf courses in my my city of Kelowna BC in Canada was uh, they were struggling to connect with local consumers and so we created a platform to make them make it easy for them to reach out to a consumer's phone and mm-hmm. offer an incentive and then Fast forward today, I mean, we've got 20 engineers working on a platform and just realized there was an opportunity for lots of businesses that needed to find a way to connect directly to consumers. They needed to be simple and they wanted to be measurable. So one of the things that businesses love about us is they can measure what's happening in real time. And then we realized pretty quickly, although it's connected to an app, that apps are expensive and hard to grow. And, and so it was more important to open up the technology and then find partners that already had audience like a radio station yeah. and then power that so that you improved their experience. But at the same time, you leverage their audience. Yeah. Yeah, man. And so is there just one app or is there multiple apps? Yeah, it's a great question. So we have the Get in the Loop app. It's available in the U.S. and Canada. Um, but we also then white label all of our content into other apps, uh, like uh, like there's apps across in Canada that are that have local offers in them, and we're powering that. And then and then we're integrated into over 100 different websites. So could, now, so could a radio station app be integrated with all of this content as well? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the kind of holy grail because the app user experience is it's just a little bit tighter. I mean, in terms of location and all of that, it makes it a bit simpler, mm-hmm. but it works really well on websites. But yeah, if you have an app, I mean, this is, that's the holy grail for us. That sounds so amazing. And so, and, and it's all local stuff. It's not national type stuff, or is it national stuff? Yeah, I mean, no, it's all local. I mean, we, we work with national brands, like franchise brands and things, but still it's offers at local locations, so it's still quite different. And that's sort of what we're known for. We have 6,500 local businesses in Canada that use us, so we're the largest shop local platform. Wow, And so, and, but you're not, not just in Canada, though. You're reaching out to all of North America. Yeah, yeah, we just launched the U.S. a couple of months ago, and then uh, it looks like after this weekend we'll be working our way through quite a bit of states here. So it's, uh, we're, I'm learning a lot about the map of the United United States. Yeah. Oh man, that is amazing. That is so cool. And I love how you could, if your if your radio station has an app, has a obviously has a website, and all of this stuff can be on there. How do how do stations pay for it? How what's the, what's the integration with the radio station? Yeah. How, how does they how do they partner with you? Yeah, that's that's sort of I think the neat part about our relationship with them. So we become full partners with them. So they don't pay us up front or anything. We're revenue share partners. So when we come into the market, we know lots of radio stations are looking for digital ad platforms and more digital revenue streams. Uh-huh. So we partner with them. We train up their sales team. We actually go to market with them. So they're signing up the local businesses. And then the neat part is is there's no more need for creative and design. The system's all automated. We have thousands of images for every industry or a business can upload their own and then they are able to actually promote live right to a radio station's website so when 
the local coffee shop wakes up and decides to do two for one donuts, that goes live that morning on the radio station's website and, and it all sort of happens quite seamlessly. And then the integration with the website literally takes one minute. Uh, we've invested a lot of time and money <laughs> and so you just drop the line of code on there and then they can kind of control how they want it to look and feel and, and it all happens just like that. So very nice. So it, so this radio stations can partner with you like immediately and have this on their website within a couple of days, couple of weeks? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, as soon as we partner and, and, and agree how we're going to go to market, uh, the first thing is is to go sign up and sell businesses onto the platform. And, okay. and the, you know, as the businesses sign up, they create content that day and the, and the, and the website starts to be powered with all this local content. <laughs> yeah. So um, how much revenue do you think a radio station might anticipate on getting from this yeah i mean so generally we charge a local business about twenty five hundred dollars a year mm -hmm. and we're and we're full 50 50 partners in that with our radio station partners and so i mean top line revenue in a small market should be two hundred fifty thousand uh u.s Whoa. digitally um in in time i mean that's about 100 local customers so if you're in a smaller market maybe it'd be 50 yeah but but in bigger markets i mean it can be millions of dollars a year. oh man i had no idea yeah. We're talking about that. I mean, because I've seen people do, you know, little uh, coupons here, or, you know, th that sort of thing. And and the thing about it is you're, ob you're uh, sending them to some other website to do this. This is all integrated on your website. Yep. All on white label. So it's uh, I think it's really, it kind of aligns to how a radio station goes because it's their own proprietary platform. So they're not out competing, selling other digitals. It, they own, we're, we're exclusive with them in the market. Yeah. But it also allows them to be selling their brand. When they're talking to an advertiser, they're talking about, hey, you're going to be live on our website, live in this app. It's connected to a newsletter into social media. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of the full the full spectrum of digital touch points that a, that a business would want, and it, and it gives the radio station a really differentiated competitive offering. And I like what you said in that your market exclusive. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we look for partners, and and we just we think that I think it's it makes a lot of sense for the partners to be exclusive, and a lot of sense for us. That way, we're focused on them. Absolutely. All right. So uh, let everybody know how they can get in touch with uh, your. I mean, you're the CEO. I mean, I'm not going to give you anybody your email address, but I mean, how can they get in touch with your team and get the ball rolling? Yeah. Well, they're uh, they can definitely get in touch with me as well. So you can go to getintheloop.com, uh, or you can email me. It's at matt.crowell at getintheloop.com or getintheloop.ca. All right. Fantastic. And uh, the website uh, get in the loop.ca as well. Yeah. Great. Matt, thank you so much for being here. Uh, man, I look forward to seeing how you guys grow across the entire United States now. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be fun. It's uh, wow. I mean, it's going to be a lot to take on. Even this weekend, we're like already in this, like, here we go. It's time to hit the road <laughs> lots. But uh, yeah, I sure appreciate you uh, letting me come on here and, and tell our story. Absolutely. Great to have you. And uh, man, thank you so much for being on. Great. Isn't that crazy? The amount of money that you could make with your radio station website using something like Get In The Loop. Be sure to check them out, getintheloop.ca. Again, big thanks to Matt for being on the show. Do you need help with your radio station website, just getting it off the ground or start to bring in more people to get your content? Well, reach out to us. We'd love to help at skyrocketradio.com. Have an awesome week online making your radio station website better. We'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to Better Radio Websites. Inspired by today's episode? Be sure you are subscribed and share this episode with a friend. Visit skyrocketradio.com forward slash podcasts for more episodes as well as show notes for this episode. Need help starting or making your station website better? Visit skyrocketradio.com.